Oh my goodness, greetings warriors. Listen, it's your girl Karen Graham, also known as a purpose warrior. Glory to God. I am literally on lunch at work, so I work from home, but the Father will speak to us anywhere that we are at. This is a season that there is no wasted spaces. There is no wasted spaces. And thank you, Holy Spirit. There are no wasted places. Glory to God. And so over the weekend, I had to get a new phone. So with my job, we have to use what's called a mobile pass. So it takes time to get that information um, from the head to the agents. And so what they have is this room where you go to when you're waiting for repairs and I've been stuck in this room since Monday guys and at first I'm gonna be honest I'm like I don't like this room because normally when I'm working from home I don't have to listen I'm not forced to listen to anything but the the word of God so even as I'm working I'm in my atmosphere with the father I'm catching up on videos from my teachers so it's a very intimate time even though I'm working and so now that I'm in this room Glory to God. I feel like, whoa, Lord, I can't even, I'm trying to turn it down so I could hear, you know, my music, but at the same time, hear what they're saying, but let me get to it. So this was since Monday. Today is Friday. And yesterday, the Father had me change my whole attitude on being in this room. And instead of being irritated about being in this room, I started showing gratitude. I started rejoicing about being in this room. I was like, glory to you, Father, that I'm positioned to have a job where they know I can't work either but what we do in this room what they're doing in this room is they're playing all these different TED talks all these different mindset videos but here I am so irritated about being in here that I wasn't even trying to hear what they was saying glory to God but this is I'm bringing this together so today I came back to work with a new attitude. My mind was open and ready to receive because we have to be able to see God in everything. If we don't have the vision to see God in everything, we will miss when he is speaking to us. And I don't know about you warriors, but I get excited when the father speaks to me. I look for him to speak to me every single day, all day. If he's quiet, I'm like, Lord, we supposed to be chopping it up today. But let me get to this. So I'm in the room new attitude and the first video they play speaks to my heart speaks to my heart it's a woman that looks just like me an entrepreneur just like me and so as she's speaking she said something she said that she doesn't she lives each day as if it's her last she doesn't force herself to look in the future because she's not worried about the future she's so rooted and grounded in today in her present that her future she knows is already taken care of and I was just like thank you Holy Spirit that's it see the father told me back in September that I was on a daily mission to run a daily race and it is so important that we keep our minds and our spirits and our ears open and our vision wide because when I heard that it touched my spirit in such a major way because that is how the father literally trained me and see he gave me a scripture and this is just mm, glory to God so Isaiah 40 verse 31 but those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength they shall mount up with wings like eagles they shall run and not be weary they shall walk and not faint see there are times as we are on this faith race when we're running these races and we're owning our races there's a time where you are gonna be walking moving slow you're gonna be feeling like you're going to faint but then God is gonna show up as you are trained through this battle as you are prepared to run that final lap I'm telling you you're gonna run and not grow weary and see we are in our running stage we are in our running stage So the father is saying there's no wasted places or spaces. He's going to put us in rooms that we can grow from in situations that we can apply. We can run it. We can run what he has placed inside of us. We could do what he has placed inside of us. We're not going to be in places that we are not supposed to be in in this hour because our coach is leading us to this these places and he's leading us here so that we can run so that we can take off so after I hear this video glory to God 
the presenter for this session, they were like, is there anybody that has any comments, anything to say? Was this video a good video? And it's 80 something of us in there and nobody raised their hand. Nobody said nothing. There was no comments. And so I was like, the father convicted me. And he was like, you wait a minute, you got something from this. It just touched your heart so much. So you knew I was speaking to you in that video. Get off of mute and tell him, speak your truth. And so I get off of mute and I'm like, you guys, we got to own our races and we have to run it. We have to stay in our lanes. We have to know that we can take this race one day at a time so we can be the best version of ourselves. We can't focus days ahead sometimes when we have to worry about about the race that's in front of us today and so I'm getting up and, and it's inspiring people right and I'm and the guy was like you know thank you because it was his second time and he was like it's not easy for us getting up here trying to entertain the room and this is my second time and so we have to speak out when someone has spoken something or puts put us in position to see something if we're in a place and we see something and it blesses us this word is twofold Know that you're in a reason and a season to run what the Father has put inside of you, no matter what room you're in. See, there was someone, the presenter himself needed to be encouraged, needed to know that that video spoke to someone else too outside of him. We have to encourage our brothers and sisters because we're running. A lot of us are running, but as we're running, don't never feel like there's a certain pace that you have to be running at. God is in control. That's what I'm saying. He's in control. And even as we're running, we're going leaps and bounds in the spirit that we don't even know about, right? That's why he takes us from last to first. But as you're running, when it feels like you're slowing down, you're like, man, I just want to do something else. Just sit, quiet your soul, quiet your spirit. Father, what do you have for me? to? What are you trying to get me to see in this space, in this place? Because there's nowhere you will put me for nothing. And when you do that, the quicker you do that, the quicker you will see it's bigger than you. You have to really speak out. No matter where you are, use your gifts. That's what I'm saying. No matter where you are, use your gifts. Because that's how we are going to reach and teach this world. That's how we're going to create more warriors. That's how more people are going to learn that they can own their individual race. That it's not by might, not by power, but by his spirit. Glory to God. So I just want to come on here real quick with this word. Hopefully somebody's going to catch it. So I know it was a lie, you know, but I'm just being obedient. I'm just being obedient. God wants somebody to be grateful for where they are today. God wants somebody to know that there are no empty spaces or places in this season. God wants somebody to know that because you have owned your race, you have been equipped to enter into rooms. And he's going to place you in rooms that you don't even think you should be speaking in. He's going to place you in situations where you should you don't even know how you got there. But you will have what it takes to run it. So Rani, in Jesus' name, I love you, Word Season.